Hi, this is Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. In this video, I want to talk to you about the carousel. This is a really fun tool. I've been looking forward to making this video because I really like working with the carousel tool. That's just a tool that allows you to create a slider or a form of a slideshow, only you can put just about any content inside this slider. Images, text, even video, whatever you want. And uh, in fact, let me show you one really quick that's finished. So here's the finished version of the carousel. It's that thing that makes this content slide. As you can see, I've got images, uh, I've got text, my little logos. There's arrows where I can click through to the next slide. I've got some different backgrounds. I can also click backwards to the previous slide. I can jump ahead to another slide. This is called pagination. This is how many pages there are in my slider. And so this is just basically what the carousel does. It allows you to display content. And in fact, I can even leave it alone and it will automatically change and I can control the speed of that change um, so that uh, it, it's extremely flexible in how you want to display content with it. So let me show you behind the scenes now. Let me close this one up. Let's look, look at how to make a slider like this. So here's some um, website that I'm working on or one of the pages at least on my website that I'm working on. And I just basically grab the carousel tool, which is like anything else, you just drag a box out onto the canvas. Now you can see in this case it's transparent. You can see through it. It comes with a couple of arrows. That's the previous and the next arrow and these are the pages. So I'm starting off with four pages, but I can change all of this. I can edit all of this. So I'm going to put my slider up here and let's go look inside by double clicking on it, bring up the carousel properties. So you can call it a slider or a carousel, same thing. Uh, as you can see, it started us with four pages. We can change that. You can add pages. You can have as many as 25 pages on your carousel, um, or you can have one or two. So let's leave it at four. This is the pause time. I can decide how long a slide displays before it changes to the next one. So you'd set these in milliseconds. So if you wanted it to last longer, you would raise this number. If you want the slides to change sooner, you would lower this number. The um, change of the slide is called the duration or the animation duration. You can even slow that down or speed that up. How quickly the slide moves, how quickly the page turns can be controlled by this number. You can even start on a different page. It doesn't have to start, the carousel doesn't have to start on page one. It can start on any one of your pages. The sliding effect can be in forward or you can set it to go backward or you can set it to go forward then backward or you can have it cycle in sort of a circle. So when it gets to the end, it just automatically starts over at the beginning without, in, in a really seamless way. It's, it's a really, that's a really cool trick. So it's just kind of an, an everlasting loop, if you will, in either direction, forward or back. The other thing you can do is you can decide how your navigation looks. So this part is the little uh, arrows that uh, you can click to go forward and backward. So I can disable those. And when you do, there's no arrows. So the user would have to click on these or wait for the slide to change. But if you want the arrows, you add the navigation, easy enough to do. You can even decide what those buttons look like. You don't have to use these buttons. You can actually just connect to any image that you have. If you have a different kind of a button image or an arrow image you want to use, you can do that. The margin allows you to decide how far away they are from the edge of the carousel. So the default is four. I'll move it way in so you can see if I set it to, I don't know, 18, you can see they move in a number of pixels. And that's just a great thing to know how to do because sometimes you have to adjust that so that it's not in the way of your picture or whatever. So four is the default. The pagination now, again, those are the little dots that uh, we can we can show if we want people to be able to jump around from one slide or one page to the other. You can disable that just by unchecking it. And these little numbers here will not show in our carousel. That's just for while we're in design mode because you have to be able to jump around to your pages so you can design the content. So that's just kind of a cool little thing. But the finished product, this wouldn't show. So we're going to enable the pagination and we'll have the little dots. And again, you can even change the color of the little dots. They default to being uh, white with a black border that look like this. Or you can make them, as you can imagine, purple with a red border if you want. And that's what they would look like. You can change their size. You can make them really big. And you can even change the distance between them all. So you get the idea. You have a lot of flexibility. And we haven't even looked at the style tab yet. 
there's a lot of other stuff you can do. So the background of the carousel right now is transparent. That's kind of the way I like. But if you want a solid background, all you need to do is pick a color and your carousel will have that color as its background. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And you can also make that be a gradient, which is kind of nice too. So two color gradient. And our slider background will look like that. I won't go through all of these because they're pretty obvious. You can add an image, you can add a multicolor gradient or a pattern or a texture. You can decide what the background is going to be. I like transparent. I'm actually going to leave it like that. If you want a border, you can decide what kind of a border it is. A dotted, dashed, solid, the color, and even round the edges. That's what radius means. If you wanted a border, I'll make one really quick so you can see. Let's make a really fat border. Here's one that's seven pixels. And if I wanted it rounded, that's the radius. So I have kind of a rounded edge border. Full control over that. Um, the default is no border. All right, so I'm going to delete this and start with a fresh one here and show you the way I like to do it. So I'm just going to use the default settings, uh, transparent carousel. We'll use their arrows. We'll use this pagination and we'll make four pages for this demonstration. And I'm going to put my carousel right here because my website has a sort of blue background. I'm just going to make it fit this header. And in fact, I even had a, a JPEG that I liked. This was this, this black rectangle that I thought would be a nice background for my carousel. So right now, I need this uh, background to be behind the carousel. So what I'm going to do is, since it's selected, I'm going to go up here to Arrange. And I'm going to move this back so that it's behind the carousel. I could have also selected the carousel and went Arrange, move to the front so that this is now behind my carousel. And then what I'm going to do is just put this up in the corner and stretch it like this. And stretch it like this. And so now I have this sort of black background. My carousel is on top of the JPEG and the carousel is transparent. So you can do it that way if you want to. Now the easy part, you just add all kinds of content to this. So let me find an image I can add. So we can use the image tool. There we go. There's a nice image of my product. And as you can see, when I put it in the carousel, there's a certain hot spot, if you will, or sweet spot, where it actually enters the carousel. It has to highlight like that. You see that blue highlight? That means I have successfully placed the object inside the carousel. And in fact, I've put it on page one. How do I know that? Because this little dot tells me. I can bounce around from the pages. Right now I'm on page one and I've placed an image inside page one. I can also put text in here. Now, here's some text I could use, but I have some that I uh, pre-wrote here because it's white. Let's see if I can find it. Here we go. Here's some uh, text. And I, I made this white, obviously, so it would show up on this dark background. So you can just stretch this around wherever you want it to go. So now there's my first slide with some image and text. I can go to the next slide by clicking this button and start to put content in here. Put whatever you want here. If you want to put an image, so here's a photograph. Let's put a photo in here. And let's put an arrow or whatever. It, it, anything works. You can even put a, a text with a hyperlink. You could actually put a video in here. You could, you could just grab the video tool. I've got one here already. So I'm just going to shrink this down a little bit. And look at this. I can even put a video in slide <laughs> in slide. I can even put a video inside my carousel. Now, one of the problems with doing this is if my slide is going to change too quick, they might not be able to have a chance to watch the video. So I'd want to make sure that I you know, set the setting for this uh, carousel to be long enough to where they could watch the video if you want to do that. But anyway, the point is you can put just about anything inside here. I won't use a video right now. And uh, let, me, let me grab something else. I'll show you what else you can do. I'm going to take a uh, drawing tool so that you can see that we can actually make a shape like this and put a shape inside here. Double click on the shape. Give it a good border. Let's give it something really bright. Bright fat border. I can then uh, go get another image. In fact, I can reuse images from one page to the other. Watch, I'll go grab this image. All I got to do is copy it. Copy. Go back to the page I was on. Let's paste that. There we go. Now I can just put this in place. And now I've just added the image to this page. So not only is it on that page, it's also on this page. And I could put, you know, I could show off my product here. Let me get my image tool again. 
I'm just making this up as we go. Here's a good image. We'll show off. 90 Second Website Builder was voted best web tool one time by this website, so they gave us this little insignia. So let's put this on here. And while we're here, I'll teach you a little trick. See how this is kind of, this is white and this is kind of gray. I can change that. I want this box to match this color. Watch this. I double click on the shape and change the uh, color of the of this uh, shaped box by going to color, more colors. Grab this little dropper here. Let's pick up this white. There we go. Oh, that's probably just regular white. It could have done that too. There we go. Now this uh, looks better inside here just by making the backgrounds match. So anyway, I could also increase the size of this a little bit, increase the size of this a little bit. I won't spend a lot of time on this because I want you to see the idea here is that I can put whatever I want inside my carousel. And then there's another page I could put stuff in. So this is just a great tool. You'll just need to play around with it. I can't show you all of the possibilities, obviously, because uh, it, it's just seemingly endless. So let's look at it. Um, again, you know, we can we can click through here in design mode, but if you really want to see what it looks like, let's press F5 and preview it. Here's what it looks like in the browser, live, so to speak. And I'm just going to let it sit so you can see it changes on its own. And remember that duration is all editable. We can make that go slower or faster. There's my last page. It didn't have anything on it. And then it starts over by scrolling back. Or I can click these buttons and click through. I can click back. Here I am on page one. I can jump ahead like this jump behind and then again all of that's changeable so that's the carousel tool what a great fun way to display content on your website just another really cool tool inside 90 second website builder